Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today we're gonna be working on this amazing crocodile. All right, my W140 Mercedes, one of the best Mercedes S classes ever made. And today I have to do some stuff. I have to replace the air filter on it and I have to replace both engine uh, mounts. So we're gonna be doing that as well. So it should be a lot of fun. Uh, stay tuned and let's get this going. Yeah, you definitely don't see that every day. Oh no. Oh no. Stay away, dear. Go home. Go to the forest. There's nothing to do for you on the other side. Unless if you're hungry, you want to go to Applebee's. So I had to take out this battery um, and I went ahead and actually I opened up all these cells and I refilled it with distilled water and then I closed them up and then I actually brought this battery all the way to O'Reilly so they uh, put it on a slow charge for me and it took about like maybe a day and a half or maybe a day I can't remember but right now it's fully charged and they actually tested it for me after that and the battery is all good there's no issues with that and I'm going to show you the battery charge on it right now and I was actually monitoring to make sure that it's not dying and it's not dying it's actually like staying at 12.7 volts at the moment at least for the past hour so I don't know uh, maybe something happened like my when my friends were starting my W140 maybe they left something on so the battery you know went dead and then you know it just kept dying all the time so i'm gonna reinstall this back in a little bit but first let me show you this uh voltage on it right now so there it is 12.8 volts on the battery so it's fully charged up it's amazing okay so the battery area as you can see there's some oil there because i used to put like engine oil on there you know so it doesn't rust out so right now i do have the fluid film so i'm going to fluid film this area before installing the battery all right guys the area is fully fluid film everything is protected here and amazing all greased up and i cleaned up and reinstalled that uh, drain plug right there so everything is awesome ready to put the battery back in here so the battery is in the only sad part is that i'm still missing that uh, mount for the battery so i'll have to find one not a big deal but the battery is in and now i'm going to monitor the uh, voltage see how much it drops it's 12.7 right now so that's fully charged up so obviously there's you know you can test for the parasitic draw the other way but right now i just want to connect the battery and just see what happens because i have other things to do um and you know i'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit and uh you know we'll see how if it drops or not and how much it will drop so we'll keep an eye on it so there's this light that's, you know, on, but I'm going to close the trunk and then we'll see. All right, so we're going to jump right into it. So I'm going to start with this side. So I'm going to remove the air filter box for easier access. There's just a bunch of clips everywhere. Clips, there's two and one on the bottom. It just makes me happy because everything is still here. Nothing is lost none of the clips are missing so that's awesome all right guys so i'm in the middle of doing all this i actually removed this plastic piece from here there's some dust here that i'll have to clean and make it nice but guys what's really really awesome and what i was really wondering about is the engine harness all right because this is 1994 so 1994 1995 and some 1993 models w140s 124s they do have issues with whether it's inline six or v8 they have issues with the engine harness and you know harness just going uh bad and mainly like the wiring installation but right now what i'm noticing is this has a, an updated wiring harness delphi and it was actually made believe it or not it was made in 20, 2014 guys yes 
2014 how about that that's so awesome and then plus i was also looking at the the wires everywhere here and you know they do not appear like they're crusty or just falling apart which is awesome that's a great thing so super happy about that but either way i was you know i knew about it and i was you know i was actually gonna order a new harness uh recently but good thing that i checked i actually don't have to replace it so i'm looking at the air filter this was actually replaced which is super awesome but i'm still probably gonna replace it because i already have a new one anyways you know i don't know when exactly they replaced it and i have to clean this air box but there it is guys it was replaced it's actually the same brand made in germany so i mean it's not a bad filter it's just a little dusty so but i still have a new one so i'm gonna install a new one guys thank you so much for all of those who are supporting me it really means a lot guys um and let's go ahead and keep saving these amazing classic german cars they're amazing they're gonna make them like they used to and also besides german ones classic swedish cars all right dylan i didn't forget about you i know classic volvos are also amazing cars so anyways i'm just you know i'm just continuing to work on this amazing w140 and uh yeah in the middle of doing a bunch of stuff to it so i had the battery connected for a while so let's go ahead and test it out okay she's been connected so i'm gonna grab my uh, leads my multimeter and we're gonna test it look at this rookie removing the 10 millimeter nut with the line wrench <laughs> Just make sure that you're always being careful and patient with all this all right so you don't break anything but there it is it's uh, another part of the air box and i'll have to clean everything wash it make it nice and now we have the engine mount right there exposed so i'm gonna start removing that and yeah and i think they look it looks like a it's an original mount so another reason why I want to replace these mounts is the distance right here is actually also becoming like pretty tight and small. So I definitely want to replace the engine mounts and plus the vibration. Just look at how massive this car is. It's pretty amazing. Like look at this big subframe mount. That's insane. Wow. So the engine is supported right there. You use a block of wood or rubber pad. And now on this side, it's pretty simple. There's a couple bolts on the bottom. There's one here, one on the other side. I was actually able to get it to them from, literally from up top. And uh, I used a 13 millimeter bolt or a wrench to loosen those bolts. And then there's a 17 millimeter bolt right here that you have to loosen. And then that's it, just jack up the engine a little bit and this whole thing will come out. So the passenger side isn't too bad. I think the driver's side is gonna be more complicated. Anyways, so I also started removing this side. This side uh, engine mount is a lot harder, um, but uh, if you need more clearance, you can actually like, instead of removing this linkage, uh, you can go ahead and lift this up. I have someone lift it up for you and uh, to get to the bolts and everything. Um, other than that, I was using combination of a bunch of different tools. All right, it's a 17, 17 millimeter bolt on top and it's just, it was a pain. So I had to use this swivel ratchet right here, the stubby one. And I had to lift the engine actually. So when you remove those two small bolts, you can lift the engine and then you're gonna get more clearance than when you lift it. And yeah, so right now everything is loosened up. So I gotta, 
you know, go ahead and swap these out. These engine mods are super bad, guys. It's pretty tight over here, so you have to go through the bottom and, uh, you know, remove the engine mount from the bottom as well and then install the new one from the bottom as well. Okay, so here's the engine mount and it is original. There's the part number and it's actually broken. It is like, like literally it, it was torn like right here you see it's completely trashed and cracked up they're super heavy duty actually i mean comparing these to a w124 that i did with the same engine and these are like super heavy it's crazy i'm also assuming these are hydraulic yeah they're hydraulic cool time to install a new one guys you have no idea how much i love brand new parts so there's our old one there's a new one um and uh, i'm super excited to install it if we look at it like this you can see the big difference it's crazy isn't it see how this one is torn up and this one is not all right so that area is all prepped and i sprayed a fluid film actually where the mount sits there that way we'll never ever rust or anything just in case you know i'm always extra guys so yeah let's go ahead and install this side engine mount also added some copper paste to the threads right there that way it's going to be easy to install or remove next time it will never be super tight all right guys couple tips what i recommend doing is actually doing both engine mounts at the same time. So remove, uh, unbolt this engine mount and that one, then lift the engine all the way up because the oil pan's positioned on this engine a little bit interestingly. Um, and this engine mount actually, like the arm, it's all the way up to this side. So whenever you try to lift up the engine, um, this one lifts up, but then you will see that this one doesn't really like get loosened up. So you have to actually loosen both of the engine mounts and then jack it up all the way. That way you'll just do both of them at the same time. So this side is also original. Mercedes-Benz part number right there. It's also torn, look. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And this side has a this plate, heat shield on, which is nice. The other side doesn't have it, um, but no, it is what it is in the future i'll find the plate because i don't know like maybe somebody was doing something and they just didn't put it back together because there's usually uh these heat shields on on these uh, engine mounts pretty much every single engine has those uh heat shields i went ahead and cleaned this up and sanded it slightly and then right now we're gonna go ahead and uh apply some high heat paint make it really nice While the paint is drying on that uh, heat shield, I'm cleaning up all the air boxes and everything. Gonna make it look all nice. Okay, so this is all ready to go. The new mount is already there. So now it's time to put this on, bolt everything back together, lower the jack and the engine. That's it, we're almost done. And then I'll be cleaning a bunch of stuff here, making it nice. So I'm also lubricating and cleaning up all of these linkages while I'm here. So it's gonna be all nice and smooth at the end. It's really important. All right, I just lubed up the linkages. Everything moves nicely, easily. It turns back, no problem. So that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and check this battery. It's been probably like, uh, I would say six hours. Look at that, we have 12.6. So everything is awesome, everything is good. I don't see any problems at all with the battery or with the battery drain. There's no battery drain, so super amazing. All right, we're gonna recheck a little later, but I'm very positive that everything is good here. And the problem is just that my friend was probably, or he left something 
on or whatever so i got really tan today i'm not done yet i have to go somewhere but i will be uh, finishing it up soon the engine mounts are back in uh, next thing is that i'll be just cleaning a bunch of stuff here before putting it all back together Alright guys, so this is the next day. Uh, it's actually rainy today, uh, but I'm going to be cleaning all this up and inspecting everything. Okay, the engine mounts are already in. The only thing that I'm kind of sad about is because this side is supposed to have the engine mount heat shield as well, but it's missing it. So that really, really sucks. But, you know, I still installed it like this. The old engine mounts were original from 1994. They were pretty bad, absolutely bad. This is this side. It looks really, really nice, as you can see. I cleaned up and painted this um, and refreshed this uh, heat shield. So everything is looking amazing here. And then, like I said, I'm just going to be going to be like detailing all this right now, uh, cleaning all of this, making it nice. Um, yeah, super exciting. guys couple updates been cleaning this engine bay like crazy everything is getting nicely cleaned up looking so beautiful awesome cleaning all the plastic covers intake tubes and stuff like that so it's looking amazing all right guys so there you guys have it Look at this beautiful engine bay. I cleaned it all up really nicely. There's still some things that need some love, but for the most part, it looks really, really nice. A lot nicer than it ever used to be. And everything, all the plastics are back in place. I'll just have to shine them up a little more, but it looks really pretty now. I love it so much. And I also cleaned up all these air intake parts. So we're gonna install that. Okay, also I cleaned this one up. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and install these. And uh, I'm gonna install a new air filter. And then I'm gonna install the mass airflow sensor. And uh, we're gonna start this baby up very soon. Okay, ready to put the fresh filter in there. This is all mounted already. Okay guys, everything is ready to go. All wrapped up, filter, mass airflow sensor, everything is back. I'm ready to start this car up, see how she runs. And you know, I already see a big difference. The engine's sitting actually a lot higher right now. And if you look on the bottom, I'll show you later, there's actually gonna be this much of a gap. There's a lot bigger gap right now between the subframe uh, and the actual oil pan. So that's awesome. Yeah, those old engine mounts were pretty bad actually. All right, guys, there she is, running amazingly. All right, the brand new engine mounts on both sides. I just love how everything looks a lot, a lot cleaner right now. I, I spent a, quite a bit of time cleaning it and detailing this engine bay, so it looks really, really nice. All right, and we have brand new engine mounts. It's amazing, it's an amazing car. One of the best S classes ever made. And next thing I'm gonna start working on my wipers. I have to fix my wipers still, and then I'm gonna finish cleaning up that area right there where the wipers are. So it's gonna be the next task. So that's awesome. And the engine right now is actually like sitting a lot higher and it's so smooth. And right now, guys, it's pretty amazing. I don't feel anything at all. I tried putting it in gear and everything, but there's no vibration whatsoever. So that's so amazing. That's such a huge accomplishment. I'm super happy about that. Yay. Amazing machine, guys.